Please all stand for the opening prayer. May I call on Mr. Abong to lead the prayer. Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love commits me here. Ever this day, be at my side, to light and guide, to rule and guard. Amen. Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. So before you take your seat, can you pick up the pieces of paper under your chairs? Okay, you may now take your seat. So how are you today? Are you feeling well? Okay, very good. So now I will check your attendance first. Why is it Miss Palomar absent? Okay, just tell her to submit an excuse letter so that she can cook up with our lesson for the day. Okay. Before we start our topic for today, let us have first a math trick. Do you want a math trick? Are you ready? Oh, it seems that you are not ready. Are you ready? Okay, so get a piece of paper and a ball pen. So all you're gonna do is to write your month number and your birthday. So for example, if your birthday is June, so your month number is 6. Then multiply it by 5. Next, add 6. Then multiply the total by 4. Then add 9. Are you following class? Okay, very good. Then multiply it by 5 again. Then add your birthday. For example, if your birthday is on 14, then add 14. Then last, subtract 165. Are you done computing? What you have noticed about the trick? Yes, Mr. Bahia. Oh, you are surprised. How about the others? Do you have the same answers too? Okay. So I hope that it energized you all. It seems that you are all alive now. So before we will proceed to our new topic, let us have first a short review of what we have discussed last meeting. So who among you could still remember our last topic? Yes, Mr. Gahaloso. Exactly. Our last topic is all about integers. But what do you mean by integers? Yes, Monterde. Alright, very good. Integers are a set of positive and negative numbers. But how do you define the absolute value of a number? Yes, Miss Felipe? Alright, Miss Felipe, you are correct. So, it feels great that you still remember our last topic. So I, it is clear that you fully understand. And now before we will proceed to our new lesson, let me show you first a video clip entitled Application of Integers in Real Life. So while watching the video, you are going to take note of what you have noticed in the video presentation. Is that clear? Okay, so if that's so, here is the video. Do you know that the optimal temperatures in the freezer of a refrigerator is around negative 18 degrees Celsius and that in the other compartments is around 4 degrees Celsius? It is because different foodstuffs require different temperatures to keep them fresh for a long time. Note that a positive number such as positive 4 degrees Celsius can be written without the positive sign. Negative 18 degrees Celsius means it is 18 degrees colder than the freezing point of water. 
It is 18 degrees Celsius below 0 degrees Celsius. 4 degrees Celsius means it is 4 degrees warmer than the freezing point of water. It is 4 degrees Celsius above 0 degrees Celsius. Instead of using the terms going right or going left to give directions, we can use positive or negative numbers to indicate directions. For example, we can say, The Louvre Museum is 5 kilometers from the hotel, and the Eiffel Tower is negative 2 kilometers from the hotel in the opposite direction. Often, you can find positive and negative numbers on shopping receipts. The positive number for cash means that the shop has received 20 ringgit from you, and the negative number for change simply means that the shop needs to pay out 1 ringgit and 50 sen back to you. Positive and negative numbers are used in many ways in our daily lives. If positive represents above a reference point, then negative represents below the same reference point. If positive represents a direction to the right, then negative represents a direction to the left. If positive represents money received, then negative represents money paid out. Conclusion Negative numbers represent the opposites. The group of all the negative whole numbers, positive whole numbers, and zero are called integers. Any decimal numbers or fractions are non-integers. Hence, integers do not include any decimal numbers. So what can you say about the video presentation? Oh yes, Mr. Abong. Okay, thank you. Another. Oh, Miss Lalin. Okay, very well said, Ms. Lalin. So we can't deny the fact that almost of the students nowadays hate mathematics a lot. But why? Why they hate mathematics? Though mathematics is really part of our life. Everything we do is part of math. When we are eating, taking a bath, or even when we travel, there is always an integration of mathematics, right? So does anyone know how to add numbers? How about adding integers? Okay, anyway, our lesson for today is all about addition of integers. So did you still remember the rules in addition, adding integers? Okay, yes, Mr. Mahayan? Okay, very good. So the first rule in adding integers is if the integers have the same sign, just simply add the integers and copy the common sign. So how about if the two integers have unlike signs? Yes, Miss Maglente. Okay, exactly. So the second rule in adding integers is if the integers have different sign, just simply subtract the integers and copy the sign of the larger number. So now I will give some examples. So here's the example. Number one, 12 plus negative 3. What's the answer? Yes, Mr. Abo. Okay, negative, positive 9. Why is it positive 9? Okay, very good. Next, number two, 3 plus negative 5. Okay, very good. Negative 2. Number three, negative eight plus negative two. Yes, Miss Felipe. Oh, why is it? It is negative ten. Okay, very good. So last, negative twelve plus negative eighteen. Okay, very good. So, do you have any clarification? Do you understand our topic for today? Okay, very good. Since you already understand our lesson, let us have a dream. This is a competition by group, so everybody must participate. 
since I will give 20 points for this group who will win in this drill. Okay? So this will be the group 1 and this will be the group 2. So form a line with your group now. So are you ready? Okay, show me a thumbs up when you are ready. Okay. Negative 40 plus negative 16. Okay, negative 56. Negative 8 plus negative 8. Okay, negative 16. Negative 8 plus 8. Okay, 0. 25 plus negative 16. Okay, 9. 10 plus negative 31. Negative 21. 16 plus negative 4. 12. Negative 7 plus negative 9. Okay, negative 16. 35 plus negative 40. Okay, negative 5. So since group 2 win the drill, you have 20 points and uh, group 1 have got 15 points. So very good class. I can sense that you already understand our lesson for today. So now for your final activity, you answer this one. Get one half crosswise sheet of paper and you have 15 minutes to answer this task. Time's up. Are you done? Okay, pass the paper in the center aisle. One, two, three, four, five. Then pass forward. One, two, three, four, five. So for your assignment, find the sum of the following. So let us remember that our topic for today is all about addition of integers. So if the integers have the same sign, just simply add the integers and copy the common sign. But if the integers have different sign, just simply subtract the integers and copy the sign of the larger number. So always remember what Paul Halma say that in order to learn mathematics, do mathematics. So please all stand for the closing prayer. And Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. So class dismiss.